In this episode, we are going to solve one simple problem on the power transmitted by a solid steel shaft. So, quickly, let's look at our problem. It says, determine the diameter of a solid steel shaft which can transmit 45 kilowatts at 400 revolution per minute if the maximum shear stress is given as 45 newton mm square are we okay so straight away what we have to do here is write down our parameters that is going to be the power was given us 45 kilowatts so to the power positive 3 and we have the number of revolution that is going to be 400 revolution per minute and we are also given the maximum shear stress which is 45 newton mm square okay so here we are still going to since we have power and number of revolution what do you think we can now find the torque so we know power is given us 2 pi and t onwards 60 so from here we can make torque the subject and find the torque transmitted or the torque on the shaft. So this is going to be 60 multiplying the power transmitted divided by 2 pi n. So my torque is going to be 60 multiplying, this is 45, everything divided by 2 pi and our n is what 400 this is going to give us a torque as 1074.3 newton meter if we are to turn this to millimeter that is going to be 743 so 0.43 newton that is to the power positive for 3 newton millimeter all right so now that we have the torque we also have an expression which says so from torque on the polar moment is equal to the shear on the watch radius are we okay and with this we can always deduce an expression that if you have this relation is the same as shear is equal to 16 torque on pi dq yes we have this relation deduced from this expression because we are going to have a d4 from the j and we have r when you manipulate the equation this is the final result so now that we have this what do we do we have to find the diameter dq so if you make d cubed the subject from this then we are going to get 16 multiplying the torque. Let's work in mm, right? So that is going to be 107, 4.3 to the power positive 3. Everything on pi. The shear is 45, right? 45 given. So this is going to give us E cubed to be 1215. 85.88 mm cube we want the diameter not d cube so you take the cubic root of both side and your d from here is going to be 49.54 mm so this is the diameter of the solid steel shafts that is transmitting that power at that revolution and a share of 45 it's interesting are we okay so let's look at the second example that we have over here now the second example is quite simple let's look at it says the design specifications of a 1.2 meter long solid shaft 
require that the angle of twist of the shaft should not exceed 4 degrees when a torque of 750 Nm is applied. Now, you have to know that these are the specifications that we are not to exceed. 1.2 long, 4 degree twist. Are we okay with this torque? Now we are to determine the required diameter of the shaft, knowing that the shaft is made of steel, which has allowable shear stress of 90 megapascal and modulus of rigidity also as 77.2 gigapascal. All right, so straight away, let's dive into this. We can also have our parameters written from here. So I have the length of the shaft, L, to be 1.2 meters, which is also 1,200 millimeters. What are we having? We have the theta, which is the twist, as 4 degrees, but the standard units should be converted to radians so that will be 4 multiplying pi on what 180 giving us 0 0.0698 radian we also have a torque t giving us what 750 newton meter this is also 750 raised to the power positive 3 newton watts dot millimeter. What do we have? We are to also have the shear stress which is 90 megapascal which is also 90 newton per millimeter square and the rigidity is G which is 77 Point two gigapascal, and if we are converting it, that is going to be seventy-seven point two kilo newton per mm square. We are looking for what the diameter of the shaft, which is D, is equal to an unknown. So we have quite a number of parameters given. So straight away, this is a torque equation. So you write your mighty formula where you can link any of the parameters so we know that torque on j should be equal to this and that everything on l equal to the shear stress on the radius so this is the three combined what equation so now we are interested in finding diameter you can combine any of the two to get your parameters so let's combine the first two this and that to see what we are having so meaning i'm going to still work in millimeters this is going to give me the torque which is 750 on that the j of a solid shaft we know is pi on 32 d4 right so that is going to be pi on 32 d4 equal to now we have our j which is the modulus in terms of mm that is going to be 77.2 to the power watts three and the radians the angle of twist is giving us in terms of radian that is 0 0.0698 we divide both side by the L, the length in terms of mm, which is 1200. So this is a matter of what? Using your calculator to punch. When you manipulate this equation, you are going to now have the D4 is equal to 170125.6.87. So this is in terms of mm4, right? So you are going to take the fourth root of both sides. And with that, you are going to get your D4 or diameter from this to be 36.12 mm. 36.12 mm. So this is the diameter 
But remember, you can also combine another form to also get another diameter, right? Yes. So let's look at that one. If we are to combine T on J with the shear stress on the radius, then we are going to get, we always know that this is going to give us an expression which says shear is 16t on pi d cube. We shouldn't forget this expression. Anytime, anytime you have that, you can just reduce it to this. So from here, we can make d cube the subject and we are going to have d cube should be equal to, now we are going to have 16 still working in mm. So we have the torque that is going to be 750 kilo. And everything is going to divide by the share. The share is giving us what? We have 90. Pi by what? 90. So the Q is going to be 42441.32. What do we do? We take the cubic root of both sides, leaving our diameter to be 34.88 mm. So always, when you solve with this, you are going to have two of the diameters. So which one is the correct answer? Here you go back to the question and pay attention. That we are designing and the specifications is that it shouldn't exceed. There's something we are told here that whatever you do, make sure you don't exceed an angle of twist of what? Four degrees. And which diameter is gotten from this four degrees is the first diameter. It's from that relation that we get to what? We are getting 36.12. Meaning we are not to exceed that. But when you look at the other parameters, the torque and that, are we restricted to exceed or not exceed? There's no restriction. And that is giving us a certain diameter. So we stick to the one with the restriction that don't exceed that. Is it clear? Yes. So meaning the diameter, the required diameter that we are going to choose is going to be the 36.12 because we are not to exceed an angle of twist of that. And this is gotten from that parameter. Therefore, our D required is 36.12 mm. So Calculating this part will also fetch you some marks, so it is very important you do for the two, then you choose your correct diameter. Alright, thank you for watching this episode. Please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode.